Hello my beautiful friends, it's Mimi here today and today I'm gonna share with you how to create five different curling techniques and all using a single barrel. So this is a one inch curling barrel. You can use just the clipless one or the one with a clip. I believe the clipless ones are a lot easier to use. And I'm gonna share with you different techniques, anything from tight curl to loose curl and everything in between. So actually I'm wearing all of them right now, it's sort of mixed in my hair. So if you wanna see how to recreate them, then keep on watching. Alrighty, so I'm gonna start off by clipping in my Luxies and I wear the Ombre Blonde set, this is the 220 gram set. And the reason I wanna clip it in, obviously, because it's gonna give me more length, so it's gonna be easier to show you all these curling techniques, but also to show you guys that all of these curling techniques can work equally well whether I'm just doing it on my hair or whether I'm wearing extensions. So I'm gonna just quickly clip this in and we'll keep on going. Alright, so now that I've got my Luxies in, I'm ready to show you the techniques. The first one I'm going to share with you is probably my favorite because it's the easiest. I mean, all of them are easy, but this one is by far the easiest. And this is, I'm going to use this section over here to share with you that one, push the rest away. So I call this one the classic curl because basically this is the simplest way to curl your hair. And this is sort of the classic way everyone curls their hair. So what you do is first you bring your hair, so it has to be really flat. As you can see, I'm just flattening it with my fingers. And then you put it flat on the curling barrel. Now, you can do this facing in or facing out. That's totally up to you. So you put this flat on the barrel. Again, you can start really high here or you can start lower. It's truly up to you. It all depends on how high or low you want your curl to start. But I personally usually start it sort of um, a little lower than my eye area. Because I don't want, I don't, not really crazy, but again, depending on the curl, but with these classic curls, I prefer them to be a bit looser. So I'll start at the eye area, just like that. And then notice how as I'm putting the hair on the barrel, I'm keeping it really, really flat. And also, there's no space in between the wraps. So it's so, almost like a ribbon, if that makes sense. So as you can see, all of the hair is on the barrel. It is flat and there's no spacing in between the, the sections that I curled around the barrel. Now, just like with any other curling technique, you have to make sure that the curl sets for at least, you know, 15 seconds. Sometimes people take it off the curler too fast and that's when the curl doesn't set. So we're just gonna wait a few seconds also. Okay, I'm gonna release it now. But I'm gonna say one more thing. So usually with any curl, when I work with any curl, I first release it into my palm and I let it set. So I'm gonna do this consistently with all of the ones that I'll be showing you guys. But one thing I really wanted to, to mention is that regardless of what curling iron you use, you have to make sure that it is set to at least 320, 350 degrees, especially if your hair is thick and coarse. For example, my hair is quite thick and it's a bit more um, unruly, so harder to work with. So I always make sure that it is set to a higher temperature. For finer hair, you know, you might want to work with a little lower temperature. So it really depends also on how well your, your hair curls. And a lot of times it doesn't curl so well because it's not set to a proper um, degree. Now I'm going to release this curl and you will see why I call this the classic because as you can see, it's a very classic, you know, perfect curl. You can do this to a prom, you can do this to a wedding, you can do this to a really nice dinner out. So basically any kind of event, this would look really great. And although it does look quite tight right now, it does loosen up or you can go in there and like loosen it up completely. But just for the sake of showing these curls, I'll just leave it as is. So it's very nice and tight and that's the classic curl. The second curling technique I'm gonna share with you, I call the natural curl because it actually looks like the natural curl. And it's probably, again, my another favorite. I mean, all of the ones that I'm gonna share with you are my favorite curling techniques. That's why I'm sharing them with you. So again, I'm gonna take a chunk of hair and quite a medium chunk of hair, it's not small. And this one will start very similar to the classic curl, but then I'm gonna do something very different after. So I'm gonna start wrapping it 
away from the face like that so just two wraps so that was away from the face and I'm just gonna hold it for a few seconds and then I'm gonna use the remaining hair and curl it towards my face now the reason I do that is because in any natural curl if you have natural curls because I do personally none of them go one directional they sort of go halfway towards you know halfway away from the face and halfway towards the face I'll show you when I drop this you'll see that more in action again just gonna let it set for a bit then release it let it set in my hand and then I'll share with you what I mean okay so as I release it you can see first of all how different the two are and then if I just run my fingers through this wave you will see how natural this looks compared to this so with this curl it is not perfect it's not one directional it sort of goes like this and then like this so I absolutely love these curls because they resemble really natural curls or waves again if you work with smaller section it looks more like curl bigger section looks more like a wave so this is the natural curl The next curling technique I'm going to share with you, I call the tight curl. And yes, you can actually use a one inch barrel to create tight curls. The only thing here is that you have to work with smaller sections. So I'm going to use a really small section like this one right here. And I'm going to place it on the barrel. Now watch me. The difference here between this and the classic is that A, I keep space between the um, sections you see so there's space and then if I have any extra hair left that's fine I'm just gonna hold this first let it heat up then we're gonna set it and then once that's done I'm gonna curl the remaining hair so notice how I'm working with a smaller section and I'm keeping space as I'm curling between the sections of hair so I'm gonna release that and then I'm gonna curl the rest of the hair same way you see I'm keeping the space between the sections now if you have really long hair this does take long but you get really nice cute curls again gonna wait for this to set on the curler then release it and as you can see you know I'm just gonna wait for it to sort of set a little bit and I shake it so you get a really nice beautiful curl and you can make it even tighter if you go smaller section but just for the sake of this tutorial you know I want to share with you how to make it really nice beautiful tight curl so you can see the difference between this one and that one and how the spacing creates nice really nice shape of a wave All right, now I'm gonna move on to the hair on the other side of my head because this side wants some curls too and I'll share with you guys how to create this technique that I call the twist curl so I'm gonna grab a section of hair and you want to work with small section of hair for this to work really well oops that was just my brush <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna twist the hair away from my face like that and as I'm gonna twist it I'm also, oops, be careful with the curling iron. I'm also going to curl it around the barrel and you wanna curl it really, really tight on the barrel. Now I didn't grab too much hair, so you can see I have a lot of space, but basically it's just the same way as a classic, but you're twisting the hair as you're doing this. And just like with all the other curling techniques, you gotta wait for the hair to set so for the curl to set as you're doing this all right and then I'm just gonna slide this off the curler into my palm like always be careful with the curler let the set in your hand and this is probably one of my favorite tips like whenever I'm curling hair regardless of what technique I use is to let the curl first set in my palms okay 
we'll let it set and then as you can see when I release it you get a really nice interesting shape of a curl obviously I'm not gonna leave it like this I'm gonna open it up but just to show you the difference again between all of these and this one so this eventually ends up looking like a really nice beach wave but I'm just gonna go into the wave right now and just sort of open it up and as you can see it's a really nice interesting shape it's more effortless and also natural looking I'll just put it here in the front for you guys to see and that is the twist curl And the fifth and last technique I'm gonna share with you, I call the loose wave. And this again is one of my favorites because it gives you those really nice loose waves, sort of Victoria's Secret hair. So this one is really great when you're, you are in a rush because you can work with thicker sections. So I'm gonna take a really nice thick section here at the front of my face, place it on the barrel. Now the trick here I go really low, so I'm not starting at the middle of the hair. I'm, I go almost towards the ends of my hair. And as I'm curling the hair, notice how I don't just hold it. I do the sliding motion. So I'm never really holding the hair on the barrel. I'm just moving it. So basically, that's what you get. I'll just share with you. This is the one right here. I mean, it all happens really, really fast. And this is what you get a really nice loose wave obviously when you have a lot of them and you run your fingers through it you just get really beautiful soft bouncy waves now I obviously don't want to go outside of the house looking like this so just give me a few minutes to finish curling my hair I'm just gonna use some of these techniques mix it all up and it's gonna look absolutely lovely I'll get back to you in a moment. All right, and that's what my hair looks like after I curled it all, mixed all the different styles in my hair. And I really love it because again, it looks very sort of natural, effortless, and you can't really see any pattern in my hair because there's so many different patterns and it's not one directional. So let me know which one of these curling techniques was your favorite. I'd love to hear from you. Was it the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth? Let me know, leave me a comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy watching it and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Love you, bye.